What's going on, Ophiuchus? How are you? I hope you're well wherever you are. Welcome to Ophiuchus and me. I appreciate you guys for stopping by here with me today. It is Wednesday, the 30th of August, 2023, and at 6.07 p.m. right now where I am. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys had a wonderful day. And we are in that full moon energy. It's supposed to be two day or two night or however, right? Um, so, yeah, I will use the Astro Oracle again today. But first and foremost, thank you guys for all your support. And um, thank you for contributing to the growth of this channel. I really do appreciate every single last one of you guys. I appreciate you. So, if you're new, I appreciate you also. And um, I do Oracle, I do Index, I do two decks of Tarot. Okay? So, let's get started. Let's get started, guys. So, I was off today. No work for me. Just trying to rest, but it seemed like every time I got into a good sleep, either dogs started going off or people started trimming hedges or just a whole bunch of nonsense. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, I think it's intentional. Just energy that just doesn't want me to get my rest, but you know, it doesn't bother me. Woe to them who try to block anything good for me, you know? So, however the case... Let's see what we have here today. One more time. All right, here we go. <laughs> opposition. Like I say, anybody is in any opposition to how I operate, whatever. We'll see you. 50. Three equals to eight, infinity and beyond, okay? So here we have confrontation. So there could be a lot of that energy out there. I mean, even I think Venus is in retrograde or something like that. And Venus is, you know, love and whatnot, right? So yeah, and at the bottom here we have um, fourth house, which is home. It equals to a 42, maybe you're 42, maybe you're 53. Maybe you're born on the 8th or the 6th of December. But, um, or maybe, you know, there's some energy that's going around in your home that you need to take care of or something like that. Um, balance out some issues within your home sector. Not too sure, but let's, oh my, flipped right to it. Okay, awesome. So, let's get, I, gosh, this sunlight, I'm trying to do the videos a little bit too much. I call myself... Closing the blinds, but didn't do it the right way. There was still some shining through. Okay, great. Opposition. It says, when two planets oppose each other across the circle of the zodiac as the sun and moon do on a full moon, both planets will either be in signs of yang element or elements, which are fire and air, or in yin elements, which are water and earth, and stare directly at each other across the earth like partners in a wrestling match. The opposition can feel like a dare or a challenge, like boot camp, where a confrontation pushes everyone to grow. That's beautiful, because like I said, you know, it... If, like, just say, for instance, you know, this full moon, as it spoke about the sun and the moon, you know, being on uh, two totally opposite ends or whatever, right? Um, where I was going with that, right? Okay, Venus. Like I was saying, Venus being in uh, retrograde or whatever. You know, and the energies may be all off which requires people to still push through with um, a better intention, a higher intention, you know, um, and 
you know, like fight the energies or something or rebalance or something. I, I don't know exactly the words that I'm looking for, but challenge you to grow, challenge you to, you know, not get caught up in, you know, funks of waves or negativity or whatever, you know, like rise above it, you know, fight the challenge or, or accept the challenge you'll fight through. So, um, it says here, action. This is not a comfortable situation, but that's not the point. You're being challenged to grow. Look at the situation as a dojo, a martial arts training center, and take the training. You don't have to trust the wisdom of the people you are wrestling with, but you can trust the pattern itself in this great cosmic workout. Practice your best skills. Stay centered and operate from wisdom and strategy instead of emotional heat. Listen for hints on how to improve your style. The obstacles in your way are not there to stop you, but to push you toward your personal best. This situation may be set up as a dichotomy. Um, how do you say that word? Hold on, guys. <clears throat> Hold on one second. Um, I think it's like that, dichotomy. Dichotomy. Yeah, dichotomy. It means a division or contrast between two things that are or are represented as being opposed or entirely different. Okay. So... Uh, right, this situation may be set up as a dichotomy, okay, which is two things that are different, okay, you or them, love or work, your ideas versus their ideas, question the dichotomy's illusion, and look for a third position of resolution, a both and solution versus either or. If the way forward feels truly blocked, look for another path. Sometimes in opposition, particularly in transit, particularly in transit, says you shall not pass this way, find another route. An opposition dares you to proceed. Decide if this path is worth the struggle. If it is, grow those skills, hold your ground, and fight for what you believe in. You are being asked to prove to yourself and others that you have the skills needed for this next step. It says challenge. This situation is an inconvenient growth opportunity, but not a punishment. Decide if it is time to build muscles or to find another path. It also says here gift. This situation offers you a chance to burn through karma if you can continually respond with compassion and tough love from your higher self. Take the high road. That's really interesting. And uh, I like it. I like the energy there. Okay. So, and right, like, um, I, I believe everyone is thinking that, um, oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. I was going to say it. I think everybody was thinking that the full moon was in Capricorn, but they think it's in um, Pisces and it's actually in Aquarius. But in a couple of days, it will be in Capricorn and which will cause a lot of people to, you know, um, kind of like ground themselves and be more serious and so on and so forth. But um with the energy, just with this card, like I said, you know, it just challenges you to kind of use, like I said, use the skills that you've um, learned throughout time and, you know, how to be a better person and so on and so forth. Even when you have energies that are flowing through the cosmos and tapping into everyone and we're all connected and it kind of can throw things off you know like I said with the with the example of Venus you know being in retrograde you know um so 
there could be a lot of opposition, a lot of bumping heads, you know, dichotomy, male, female, you know, uh, you know, like I said, either or, your way or my way, you know, like no one getting along or being in the same um, boat of understanding, but you can, you can, you can put yourself to the challenge, put yourself out there and prove that, you know, we don't have to, you know, agree. We can agree to disagree, you know, with kindness maybe, or find the right words to word things, you know, like, you know, I don't know exactly how I'm trying to word it, but I think you guys may understand what I'm trying to say. So I don't want to take too long trying to go around the bush with that. So let's, um, let's keep on with the read and let me get some of these index cards out here. Okay. One more. Okay, maybe you have a stepdad or a stepmother. You, know, you may not agree with with them or they may not agree with you and you know you find yourself always trying to, you know, explain yourself or Find a way to get along with this person, or I don't know. Because it said home. That was the only reason why I said that. One more. Promotion at work is due to you. One more. Is your heart and your mind aligned? Okay. Let's see what we have here. Okay, let's get out some location cards. Have New Mexico, maybe you're from New Mexico. I want to travel there. Your name could start with the letter H, Harry, Harold, Henry, Harris. One more. Distant lover, lover, lovers. Marvin Gay. Maybe there's some opposition in, in the relationship there with the distant lover. Right, one more time. Maybe you're a pharmacist. Okay, let's. Get this last pile here. One more. Eighteen days from today. 
Okay, it's like September 16th, I think, or 17th. It's only one more day, right? Yeah, in August. Okay, so 17th. One more. And listen closely. Whatever comes out, that's just going to be that. I'm going to go a second time. Okay. Closure is needed. All right, let me grab all these here and put them together so we can get with this reading here. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So here we have it. Don't be afraid of the unknown. Okay. You're very wise in decision making. Okay. It's the best feeling. All right. You are the logical one. All right. Maybe you're vegan or a vegetarian. Maybe you're seeing 1111 a lot. Maybe you're an author or you're about to become one. Baby on the board, baby on the board, baby on this board, baby on board, you're pregnant or have a baby already. Um, They got over on you multiple times. No more. Don't listen to what people say they don't know about, about you and me. That's John B. Um, Unbelievable. God loves you. Keep pushing. Maybe you're a DJ or a party starter. Stand up for what is right. You have some mixed emotions about something. Yeah. Wow. Okay, pediatrician. You feel like a new person. Fresh new start. Your puzzle is almost complete. Maybe you like going to amusement parks. Maybe you're seeing 444. Talk less, show me. Maybe you like chocolate brownies, and maybe you're up all night with the night out eating chocolate brownies. Someone's name starts with the letter Z. I have that twice. So, um, I'm not too sure. Don't know a whole lot of Z names, but there you have it. Somebody is unstable. Maybe wanting one more chance. The battle is not yours. It's the Lord's. That's the song by Yolanda Adams. You're very courageous. Someone's name starts with the letter J. You drive a truck. Question it. I'm just saying. Be sure. Wow. They are plotting and they have no clues. Trust the process. Don't blink. You might miss it. Watch closely. Divine timing is at play. Someone's not your usual type. Giving YHWH, Yahweh, the glory. You are happily married. Meet up locally. Online famous. Nobody can take away nothing that God gave you or anything that God gave you. Look a little closer. What you gonna do now? You're fierce. Worried about what others think or say? Could be detrimental. Don't. Very talented. A challenge is only a challenge. Maybe you like to take long walks and clear your mind. Maybe you're in the process of rearranging or redecorating. You could be from New Hampshire or Indonesia, New Jersey, Madagascar. 
Indonesia twice, the UK, or Minneapolis. Wow. Okay. Energies of uh, things that are different, but rising to the occasion to be exactly who you are supposed to be. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to say that, let's see, I want to use, hmm, I think I'll use, ooh, okay, um, I was going for the doors deck. I think I want to use both of these, um, and we had divine timing. Everything is in God's plan. God's everything. You get your strength from God. You get your energy from God. Okay. It's where you pull that energy from. So maybe I'll use the divine deck first. Okay. And then being able to rise to the occasion. And not maybe, yeah, other than I use these two decks. Okay. So appreciate you guys so very much. Maybe you're seeing eleven eleven or four four four. All right, trust the process. All right, your puzzle's almost complete. Don't listen to what people say they don't know about about you and me. Put it out your mind, cause it's jealousy. They don't know about the see that's John B. And the battle is not yours, it's the Lord that's divine timing at play okay maybe your author or dj party starter you're very courageous and fierce it's the best feeling all right you're the logical one wise in decision making don't be afraid of the unknown maybe you like going to amusement parks a lot they're plotting on you and have no clues okay you're online famous maybe you're redecorating or rearranging some things at this time look a little closer question it. I'm just saying nobody can take away anything that God gave you. Stand up for what is right. Maybe you're a night owl that likes to eat chocolate brown. You have some mixed emotions about some things. Your names could start with the letter J or Z. Okay. You're very talented. All right. You're meeting up locally with somebody. Give you how all or giving God you how all the glory. Okay, don't blink. You might miss it. Someone's not your usual type, but you're meeting up. I already said you're meeting up locally, so maybe you are meeting up locally with someone. Okay, um, they got over you on multiple times. No more. Um, something is unbelievable. You're happily married. Um, let's see here. God loves you. Keep on pushing. You could be a vegetarian. Okay, baby on board. You feel like a new person, fresh new start. Someone wants one more chance. Someone is unstable. Did I say you're a pediatrician? Maybe I did. I'm not too sure. What you gonna do now? Worry about what other people what other people think or say. Okay. And um, yeah, I think I got it all. Talk less. Show me. Wow. All right, and you could be from Minneapolis, New Hampshire the UK, Madagascar, New Jersey, or Indonesia. Okay. All right. One more time. Here we go. So here I have the seven of swords, which is like sneaky behavior. You know, energy that is in opposition in a sense not you know someone's not telling you the truth or you know not standing up for what is right when you want to stand up for what is right or something like that you know um but trust the process you continue to be courageous okay mm, okay So here with the Page of Swords, um, maybe you got some sort of like message or something. You found out something about somebody with that little bird there. Like, oh, really? You found out something. And it says unbelievable. Like, it's unbelievable what you found out or something like that. Like, they're plotting on you and have no clues, you know, like, 
Oh, really? Hmm. Okay. You know, they should watch what they do because, you know, you're just full of love or something like that. And God loves you. He's on your side. He's watching out for you. So it's like you don't have to worry about anything. You have all of God's love. Okay. And here with the Ten of Coins, you're going to be very abundant in what you do. So continue to stand up for what is right. Okay. Don't get caught up in the world. Okay. Because these people are hurting that you're not hurting, you know, and that you're protected. Okay. So with the three of swords, you know, like I was saying, you know, is anybody trying to push out any negative energy towards me and, you know, not allowing me to, you know, rest, you know, watch my day off and stuff like that. Like, I just laugh, like, you know, like I, I, I know what energy is, I feel energy, you know, and it's just like, whoever is out there in the world that has any opposition towards me, especially you want to play in those levels of things, you should not do that, you know, because <laughs> it it just it is not beneficial. You know, it's not going to do anything to me, you know. Okay, it's just, it's not, you know. And so this Three of Swords, you know, it's like that's energy of, you know, hurt, you know. So, and it could have also been to where you felt that someone betrayed you or you found out someone was doing something to you and it kind of hurt you also, you know, or something like that, you know, but, uh, yeah, I can go both ways, you know, or maybe, you know, there's people finding out things, you know, and like I said, it, the energies are just messiness, you know with that seven of swords that's why i said that okay and here's the ace of swords coming to say you know it is what it is you see stuff clear as day you know just like i was saying you know i i feel energy you know and i know when something isn't right you know and i'm not going to sit here and, and i can't pinpoint and say who did anything i don't know and i don't really care you know um i stuff falls off of my shoulders i don't care you know, because I know God sees everything. And these people, if anyone ever tried to do anything to me, like, you know, he sees it. He'll take care of it whenever he's ready. And, you know, nobody's not going to confront me and try to do anything. It's all, you know, energetic. So, whatever, you know. So, here we have here the Queen of Coins and the Empress. So, like I said, whoever you are, you're you're possibly a mom. You're possibly someone who is already established, okay? Making things happen. And they're mad because you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, okay? Standing up for what is right, making money while you're doing it. You could be online famous, you know, receiving all of God's love, so... And their people are mad, you know, and you're like, wow, you know, interesting, you know, why are you mad? Don't be mad, you know, you know, so you see things clear. You heard something about something. It kind of hurts your feelings that you, you know, you found out some, someone was in opposition, or, you know, to how you uh, do what you do, you know. And here with the Ten of Coins, which is abundance, there have been, like I said, there have been some people that really kind of disappointed you where you thought that you could rely on them or uh, trust them, you know. Maybe in terms of even, you know, getting this money, you know, um, people that you could work with, you know, uh, could even be, you know, family members, I don't know, you know. Yeah, it could be people that you invested time with because you are the queen of coins and all you were ever worried about was making sure your family was tight. So it could have been some people that you were working with in your family here with the four of coins in reverse. So maybe like they're unstable or something like that. I hope that they're not trying to do anything to you and your stability. So here you have nine of wands. Um, because that would be just downright janky. You know, here it is that you're trying to set up everybody in your family, set them up for greatness, set them up for, you know, uh, 
yeah, greatness or success or something like that, right? Helping them, you know, get to a certain status and they disappointed you, you know, with their actions or something like that, you know, or, you know, that you like got them started, but maybe they thought that you were going to hold their hand or something like that, you know, and I don't know, you heard them doing something behind your back and it hurt your heart or something like that. But here it is. And maybe, like I said, because maybe they're unstable, but here you have nine of the nine of wands. So it's like, you've already been through all of the trials and error and tough times and all of this and all of that. But to receive it now from your family is just like, wow. Yeah. With that, uh, that home, you know, and confrontation. Yeah. So that's very interesting how these cards are coming out like that for me to hit that. So here you have uh, the Knight of Wands. And it's just like, it, like you said, you, you've already been through all of the torturous levels of things um, in your life to get to the point of you being an empress. Okay. So that's why I said, trust the process. Look a little closer. You know. Um, don't blink, you might miss it. Listen closely, you know, because, you know, you're the wise one. You're the logical one, okay? And they're upset because you are the one, okay, that has the answers. And you don't have any problem, I guess, maybe turning your back either at the same time and letting them figure out what they need to do as someone's unstable and one more chance. They want another chance because you're you're already out here doing what you have to do yeah you're already successful and it's like they're mad because they're unstable and they don't know how to do it like you so here with the two of wands um you've already done all your planning you already know which way you're going you you're in you're lit you're just living you're comfortable you're comfortable. You're the empress. You've already done what you need to do. You know. Nobody can take away nothing that God gave you. Yeah, five of wands. Nobody could pull you down either. They can hate all they want, but their energies, like I was saying, you know, they can't do anything. You know? It's like, good luck to you. You know? What was you? It's your problem, not my problem that you're mad. That you don't, you know, you can't focus and get yourself together. Now, I even tried to give you the, 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 the ropes or, you know, the, the tools or, you know, the, the notes or whatever, you know, like to help you along the way. And you just, you know, I even maybe even gave you money or something like that. And you totally just didn't do what you were supposed to do with it. Now you're mad because I'm still sitting on my pedestal or my throne or whatever. That doesn't make any sense. So here with the chariot. You have no time for it. You don't have no time for it. You don't have time for anything. You know, you're just going to keep on moving because that's what you know how to do. You're not going to address the silliness and, and petty in a petty manner. You know, it's just like, hey, you're my family. I tried to help you. You know, I heard that, you know, uh, you came over here and did X, Y, and Z, or you were talking behind my back. That was a little hurtful, but you know, I'm, I'm sorry that, you know, I can't really help you much more than what I've already helped you. You know, I'm not your bank or ATM. I'm not, you know, your mom. I love you. I tried to set you up for greatness, but I guess you, you didn't want to take that route. You took another route. So I'm, I'm going to continue to live my life, you know, or something like that. I don't know. But, yeah, one more time. You're not petty. You're not going to go and, you know, confront this person, like, and want to do anything stupid or heinous, you know? And here you have it, the Ace of Swords again. Okay. So, you, you're the Empress. You're the Empress. So here, hmm, this is the um, the emperor in reverse, okay? So it, it's somebody that has not gotten to your level. It could be, you know, someone in your family, like I said, maybe a stepdad or something like that, you know? And it's just like, why are you hating, you know? 
line of air. They betrayed you, talking about you, trying to hurt you, you know? And it's just like, wow. I tried to help you out, you know? You and my mom or whatever, you know? Or just someone that's not totally in that energy of, um, you know, focus. On uh, what they should be focused on. So here you have three of fire, which talks about you and your progression and your holding you holding on to your integrity. You keep you keeping on with your forward movement because that's all that you really know with the here nine of earth. That's you being single in your own space. You're already the, the queen of coins. So here with the Knight of Wands again, and you're doing things your way. And you don't have time to hear what anybody else is really talking about. Okay, because they will set you up in a space where you won't have this here ten of uh pentacles. If you continue to focus on what they're talking about, you let that energy die out. You don't have no time for it. You got the chariot in the deck. You're like, please, get on with your life. I'm going to get on with mine, you know. You're not about to stop my progression, you know. You may be in opposition to what, how, whatever I do or how I do it or why I'm not helping you anymore. That's okay. But I'm not about to be affected by that, you know. I just maybe now see who is really for me, who's not for me, and, you know, who, you know. Everything is a process. We all learn on this journey. You know, everybody is not for us just because they're related to us or just because we've known them forever or whatever. Okay, one more time. So I appreciate you guys for being here with me today. We have the moon that talks about energies and things that haven't come up to the surface so you know maybe there's more information about somebody uh that you don't know yet or something i'm not too sure um but yeah appreciate you guys for being here with me today i don't know if you could send me where i do your daily reads i really do appreciate you guys for rocking in here with me come back and rock with me anytime and if you're still here with me mm -hmm, thank you guys love you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe, please, and thank you. And, of course, only if you like. I appreciate it all. Thank you guys so very much for all your support and your love and all of what you do for me and this channel. Thank you, guys. So, here we go. Let's see what this last deck says. Let's see what it says. So, here we have a King of Wands that's coming out here. Okay. So, this person, I guess it was maybe more of, you know, someone that was, uh, maybe they were like, maybe they had a strong, you know, ego or something like that, you know, um, confident, overly confident or something like that, but they didn't really know how to press through and get things done, you know, with the emperor, you know, I just thought they had it all or something like that. Not too sure. So then here you have. The Nine of Swords, which is right here also. Like I said, this person, they they betrayed you, you know. So here with the Knight of Pentacles, you just have to come up with some sort, some sort of strategy on how to deal with this person due to the fact that I guess you know them or they're in your family or something like that. And there's your Knight of Wands again. So it's three times, you're just like, whatever, I'm going to do things. I'm going to go back to doing things my way, you know, um, I tried to help you or whatever, but I, you know, maybe, maybe you just don't need my help or whatever, but I'm going to focus on me, you know, um, and continue to live, you know, my life. All three of these flew over. I think this is the one that I need next. I was going to end up putting them back. Four of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Two of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. Um, Yeah, so one more chance. They felt left out in the cold because of the decision that you had to make because you had decided to work with this person, but you decided to pull back your energy. 
you know, at first you were thinking about it like, oh, you know, should I give them another chance? You know, I know they're my family, blah, 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 blah. But you were like, you came to your senses and realized that it came out in reverse, that you that you had to walk away. And if you hadn't walked away, you, you know, like I said, you wouldn't have this here Ten of Pentacles there. Okay. So here are the King of Cups. Um, I don't know exactly what that's meaning. Um, in terms of you know maybe yeah, maybe they maybe they love you or something like that or not too sure or maybe in relationship terms you know maybe it was someone that you were trying to help you know like I said two oppositions you know man and woman or something like that you walked away from this relationship said I'm gonna go do go do me. You know, you just weren't on my status or something like that with the emperor in reverse and you're the empress. And uh, they were just more of a king of wands, you know, cocky or whatever the case. And then uh, you let that die out and eventually maybe you found a king of cups, someone that was a little bit more loving, and, you know, use their heart and, you know, try to tap into uh, your energy or something like that a little bit more. But however the case you can read into it however you like as well. And um, I'll check you guys next time, all right? You guys have a good rest of your night and um, pull in all the best energy from this here full moon and let go of things that don't serve you. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye, guys.